Remember, like, it was like, was it over a year ago? Like, Marco says, I'm stepping away from Nightwish. And everybody's like, no, not Marco. And, and then he went on vacation and he kind of laid low for a while and nobody heard from him. And then last year, he just started popping up in other bands' videos. And it was amazing collaborations. And we thought, I wonder if Marco's going to do something like under his name, not just collaborating with someone, but like put out something as Marco. And here we go. Oh, yeah. And he brought along an old friend. Yeah, you know, it's it's funny because when we talk about these everlasting symphonic metal bands, there are bands that, you know, you can look back and go, okay, they've been around a bit. But Nightwish are the old, they're they're one of the OG symphonic metal bands. And they've been through quite a few iterations, a couple lineup changes. But I mean, you kind of always expected Marco to be there and to Salmas and things like that, but you know, we evolve, we change, we progress, we decide we want to go in a different direction, we want to find something new. And that we understand all that. Here's the thing. With Marco being completely free to do whatever he wants, he dabbled in a few projects. We all remember the Exit Eden collaboration he did. We felt so sorry for him running for his life away from those horrible three gorgeous women. Oh, Marco, your life is so horrible. But anyway, so Marco comes out with one on his own. It's under him. It's called Left on Mars. It's featuring, well, someone he's worked with before. I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a hint. Her name starts with a T, rhymes with Arya. <laughs> yeah. All right. So here we go. Tarya, Marco, back together. Pretty excited. I'm pretty pumped. Um, I, I saw some, some more, uh, how you say, uh, Nightwish of the Past, where Tarya's clear tone, um, just angelic tone, just shines through in some classic Nightwish. And I was like, man, I would just love to see that. Well, here we go. Are you ready? I have all of Marco's information below in the description. Also, of course, Tarya's as we support both these artists. This is it. Left on Mars. It's five minutes long. Okay. So apparently some things never change. Come on. You ever know Marco to be not uh, be in a, a song that's less than four minutes? The Islander? No. Okay. Moving on. Okay. Let's go. We're gonna let Tarya jump in on this second verse, but I just want to I just want to reprise something real quick, and that is uh, what Marco's creating here. Now, when you're part of one of the most famous symphonic metal bands in the world, perennial, perennially, like for decades, for a couple decades, you know you're part of this thing, and you go out on your own. What's the first thing you do if it's just you? 
you play something that is not your previous iteration. When you think of Nightwish, do you think of chunky, low-end bass with funky pulls and walk-ups and downs? No. You think of epic symphonic pads, string elements, almost to the level where you can almost hear that there's a, a symphony that you can't see. That's the level of Nightwish. This iteration of Marco, broken down guitar, straight up four on the floor drums, and a chunky, funky bass. Talk about flip a coin over and it come up heads. All right, let's finish this out because we got to let Tarya get in here. comes the keys but there is a lot of og tarot in here now here's the funny thing for a lot of my community most of you are in europe it's true a lot of the people that watch my videos are from europe namely nordic countries germany um uh, quite a few in 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 central europe as well but that's the majority of my audience. So a lot of you, when I say it, it kind of gives a lot of vibes of tarot, you know exactly who I'm talking about. Yes, Marco is in another band called Tarot for a long time. Epic metal band, but unknown to most Americans. Now, there were some songs that were fairly popular in metal circles here in the US, but not mainstream like you would hear on the radio. That was dominated by American metal bands and new metal and grunge and hair metal. So a lot of the proper heavy metal bands coming out of Europe, other than like the Scorpions, see what I'm saying? And just maybe one or two others, Arch Enemy is one. That was about it. We didn't really get a lot of the stuff from Europe here in the US. So when I say, oh, it's got some tarot vibes, a lot of the people that are not from Europe right now that are listening, they're going, oh, tell us more of this tarot band. Please check it out. It's spelled just like the deck of cards if you go get a reading. But if you want to see some old school Marco, tarot. Now, also, let me say this. Um, there is something about Taria and Marco's delivery that is classic. And it's not just because they're my age, all right? I get it. I'm not a young pup, okay? I, I'm, I, I don't get in the pit anymore. But here's the thing. There's something classic and controlled about their vocals. They're not trying to shock people. They're not trying to do a gimmick. Odds are there's not going to be a blah breakdown in this because they're classic. Also, speaking of classic, anybody else notice that when Marco does his soft vocals, his like very light, airy vocals, it reminds you of those 1970s classic um, um, J.R.R. Tolkien. Um, yeah, the, the cartoons before Peter Jackson, before all that. Yeah, the cartoons, and they had the guy that would sing like this. Yes, that. So when I heard his voice, I was like, I had nostalgic feelings which was not a bad thing. It made me, makes me feel young again. See? You'll get it one day. Bunch of young whippersnappers in the world.
so many callbacks right now. You can't tell me you don't hear some classic 70s power hard rock vibes in this courting. Kind of reminds you a little bit of maybe like some early 70s bands, you know, Iron Balloon, you know, those guys from England that... Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, epic Led Zeppelin, right? But here's the thing, okay? That that keyed section reminded you of your favorite 80s superhero movie, like a Rocky, right? Some Frank Stallone vibes. When, when the hero's kind of collecting his or herself, trying to figure out if they want to continue on. Everyone is dead. I can't win. I can't beat. I can't beat Drago. I can't do it. But then they find a way, and then here comes like the the workout amp up song. Yeah, it's like before that. Here's the thing. Also, a lot of you may not know, Marco won the Mass Singer in Finland. I know it's ridiculously dumb in America. I mean, Kevin Hart showed up just to get eliminated, but in Europe. Contests that are related to singing and song are taken very seriously. In fact, the closest thing they have to the Super Bowl is Eurovision. So Marco shows up, dresses up as a steampunk pirate or some shit, and wins the entire mass singer of Finland. Why? How? Because if you take away Nightwish, and you take away his classic look, and you make it to where people can't see his face, and you just let the guy use his pipes, he's got an iconic voice. I'm not saying he's got like Ozzy Osbourne recognizable tone, but if you're from Finland, there's something about that guy's voice. You, once you hear it and you realize that it's him and he's the lead on a song, you never forget it. <sighs> this is so damn good. Jeez, that's iconic. Now, if they do make a Lord of the Rings remake, I think they should cast him as Gandalf. Not because he's got a white beard, but because he's a storyteller. Marco has wisdom in music. He has wisdom in touring and being part of multiple bands and decades of experience telling stories to, let's be honest, at this point, millions of people. He's a, he's a treasure. He's a world treasure. Yeah, I think of Marco in the same way that I think of like a Bruce Dickinson, you know? You know, those guys that um, are kind of eternal in and of themselves, but not like, okay, so Ozzy Osbourne is uber famous, not just because of his voice and his music career, but also the sideshow that is his life. But then there are people that are... They are an enigma. They are a, um, a foundation of the music that you love, but they don't lead outlandish lives. 
remember when Marco left Nightwish, he didn't just jump into this next project and go, hey everybody, I'm leaving Nightwish and this is my new thing now. No, he disappeared, collected himself. Literally, we played Where's Marco for what, a year and a half? Until it was time. That's class, man. My name is Old School Nerd. This is the new one from Marco, of course, featuring uh, Taria, uh, Left on Mars. Uh, it's funny because you could have taken this song and put it anywhere in Marco's career and it would fit. Because technically, he, things do get better with age, but he's never really changed. And that's why we love him. All right, everybody, with that, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching everybody. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a like. It really helps the channel grow. Also, if you want to subscribe, right over there. A big thank you to all my Patreons out there for everything you do. And if you want more content like this, check them out above. Remember, love one another, take care of each other. We're all stuck on this mud ball together. We'll see you later.